If you're wondering if that's the Eiffel Tower right there, yes, it is. Because I am in Paris. Now is the part where you might ask me, Ryan, why did you move to Paris? And it's not to live the life of the French. Actually, I don't have a fucking reason. I literally have no reason why I moved here. But I will say I did not move here for the rest of my life. I'm actually only here for like one month. I moved here for an entire month, potentially uh, maybe two more weeks after the one month, but that's still in the air before I go back to Japan. I'm here to live out my Parisian fantasy of living in Paris. It's great. But today is like rainy and gloomy, so it's not the vibe outside. It's not very cute. I'm genuinely just so excited to be here. The camera is slanted right now because the floors in this apartment are very slanted. Like I can't get an even surface anywhere. So this is what we're working with. I came to Paris two years ago for only like five days and I did enjoy it, but I did not think that I was gonna come back to Paris, let alone two years later. Somehow I ended up back here. I guess I was just looking at the map of Europe and I was like, where should I go there? And it was Paris. So this is where I ended up. I got this insane Airbnb, this beautiful apartment for an entire month at an insanely good price, such a good area. I have a view of the Eiffel Tower. This whole apartment is just insane. I'm about to show you and give you a proper, apartment tour but i feel like i kind of have to explain like why the fuck i'm here first i can't just like hop in hey guys this is my new apartment in paris after paris i'm pretty much planning on maybe going home for christmas and then i'm going back to japan and staying in japan for a while but as for right now i just left la los angeles i had such a beautiful time i had such a fun time in la i love every time i go to la like it's 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 great now i'm in france do i speak french a little bit kind of as soon as i got here i was like wait so what actually am I doing here? <laughs> like, I don't actually have, like, a purpose to be here. Do I? No, I literally don't. I was frantically looking to find a purpose to be here. So I thought about going to language school, like, French language school for, like, a month. We'll see if I actually do that. It's probably not gonna happen, but we'll see if I actually do that. But anyway, let's get into the Airbnb tour. <laughs> So first, here's the front door when you walk in. I very much struggled to open this yesterday for 30 minutes because this is what the fucking key looks like. But here's the kitchen. I'm gonna stop the French accent, but here's the kitchen. It's literally so fucking cute. Here's my view. Yes. And it literally comes with like everything that I already need. Like there's already fucking tea here. Like literally everything I could possibly ever think of. Here's a closet. Not very interesting. There's like nothing really in here. Just a closet. One of my friends had this poster when I lived in New York. And then I have like the laundry on the other side and then coming into the bathroom The bathroom is not a luxurious space. Okay, we're just gonna have to deal with that But it's so cute. It's so cute, but not luxurious not the most practical because this is the shower Look at how tiny this shower is like I can barely fit in here It very much works for me and i'm happy with it. I also have one of these like towel heater things Ow that burned that i've never been able to use before So my towel is very warm and i'm very excited about that and then here's the living room which you guys haven't seen yet It's so cute to like oh my god. There's the eiffel tower. Here's the living room We have a keyboard that I do not know how to play nor will I ever play while i'm here Um, we got games that i'm not gonna play because I have no friends here uh, over here we got the couch, which I think is a pullout couch. I think this turns into a bed. So if anyone wants to be my friend, <laughs> if anyone wants to be my friend, I do have a pullout couch in my apartment in Paris. My Airbnb host actually left me a shit ton of laundry that I need to do. And this is drying right now. Like everything is soaking wet. So I'm, I'm dealing with this situation at the moment. Let me open the window. I can't believe this is my life. I am fully just in shock of how beautiful this apartment is. I can't believe how lucky I got for the price of it. I'm just gonna tell you guys how much I paid for this because I just need to. Like, normally an apartment like this in Paris, like, at least on Airbnb, is gonna be really expensive. Like, you're probably gonna pay, like, four or $5,000 for a month. I got this place for $2,000 for the entire month. And I literally was in shock when I got here because I was like, how is it this nice? And it's in, like, one of the most desired areas of Paris. So I lucked out. But the whole place, absolutely stunning. And then over here, we go into the bedroom, which is my quarters, is where I sleep. This dude is freaking me out, though. I really want to take this down I, don't, I actually don't know if that's a boy or a girl i think it's a boy holding a seashell but sleeping under this was not the most comfortable thing ever i have so much storage as well in this apartment so i was fully able to like unpack everything from my suitcases and put them in the cabinets and then we got some shelves i do have a little space heater right here which i actually need to turn on because it's getting cold that's how you turn on like the regular heating but i couldn't figure that out for hours yesterday so i was like freezing cold in the apartment because it's cold in paris it's literally so cold in paris and i came from la so i'm not used to this i don't even have a jacket i have this jacket but 
don't have like a puffer jacket. So I need to buy a puffer jacket, which is one thing that we're gonna do. I'm also very nervous about my footsteps in this apartment because apparently an old woman lives under me. I don't wanna bother her. <laughs> I don't wanna bother her because the floor is so creaky, but I literally can't help it. Like if I walk, it creaks so loud. But overall, I'm just so, so fucking grateful right now that I get to stay here like for like an entire month. Like I genuinely cannot believe it. I feel like I'm just in a state of shock at the moment, but I'm so excited. First things first, of course, I'm gonna go to a French bakery as my first kind of activity because I am literally starving right now. Apparently there's like this famous bakery in Paris and it's literally only a 10 minute walk from me. Y'all, I have so many things that I need to do. I need to get a charger because I left one of my chargers in LA. I need to get a puffer jacket because it's freezing outside and I don't have an actual jacket and I need to fucking eat on top of all of that. Oh my God, but let's go. I am so terrified to use this door again because yesterday I was locked out. I was locked out for 30 minutes. I love to play this little game of let's see if I can actually get in my apartment when I return. This is one of the reasons I think I might have gotten a good price on this place because look. We did it. Oh my God. I'm in fucking Paris. I am scared though because it's starting to rain. Also y'all, look at my fucking nails. This is really depressing. I really need to get them done. I've been gotten them done since I was in Thailand. So really need to do that. That's really good. I'm at the grocery store and I literally don't know what to get here. Like I just grab eggs because that sounds like something I should buy. But I don't know what I should actually be buying because I always like buy groceries and then I don't actually cook at home. And I don't just want to like eat out for every single meal. Like that's not sustainable. All right, pasta and eggs, we can do better. I remember last time I was in Paris, they had this almond milk. I would literally just drink straight out of the carton and I want to buy it again because it was so good. And I think it was, oh gosh, there's so many. I think it was bio. But this sounds good. Vanilla. Okay, I'm gonna get this one. I also bought like a lightning cable charger because since I got the new phone, it has like USB-C and I left my other charger in LA. So now I can't charge my AirPods. So I had to buy one of these. This was like 20 fucking dollars. What a waste. Eggs, pasta, almond milk, and pesto. <laughs> That's literally all I bought. But right now, this is actually all I need. I was gonna go and get a jacket today, like a puffer jacket, and I found one at Ghani that I really wanna get. But I'm saving that adventure for tomorrow because I literally woke up at 3 p.m. today, so I had no, like, daytime. So I'm gonna try to wake up earlier tomorrow and get out and, like, actually try to go find a fucking jacket for me because it's so cold here. Like, I basically did absolutely nothing today, so let tomorrow flourish. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Like, I love this apartment and like staying here and like the neighborhood is amazing but for some reason i feel so out of place and i'm like i don't know what i'm doing here which i guess makes sense because i literally came here with no intention like i had nothing planned like no literally i'm just here on fucking vibes and like an airbnb that i got for a month and nothing besides that so i'm like okay what am i literally what am i supposed to do now so if you're someone who travels like that i do not recommend it or if you want to travel like that so many people say that they like wish that they could travel like me y'all it is not like the best feeling ever all the time because I get to these places and I'm like what do I do now? Like literally what do I do? I have no friends here. Like I just sit around and do nothing for the most part which is like so lame and I don't want to feel like that. So me getting groceries kind of makes me literally the four things that I fucking bought kind of makes me feel a little bit better because I feel like I'm kind of getting into a routine or I'm establishing a routine. I mean I guess we'll see how tomorrow feels but for the rest of the night like it's already what 7 p.m. So I think I'm gonna like edit the beginning of this video and chill out until tomorrow when I go out and like actually do stuff tomorrow. Also, not being able to speak French. I can speak enough French, I think, to like get by, but I the thing is I'm just so scared to speak French to people here and it, that's something I didn't really expect. Like even just saying like the most simple things is like really scary because I'm scared that I'm gonna mess up and I think that French people are a lot more mean about it. Like if you mess up than like Japanese people. So I think I'm like so used to saying everything in Japanese. If it makes sense, my brain informs 
foreign language mode is in Japanese. So like I'm mixing up French and Japanese in my head and literally when people talk to me in French, I like literally want to say something in Japanese, but I have to like stop myself. So it's really confusing and I guess like a weird perspective. And that's one reason I like want to go to language school here, really try to improve my French because I want to feel like I didn't waste my fucking time while I was in Paris, like doing absolutely nothing. I'm gonna try my best. <laughs> pesto and there was already pesto in the fridge when I got here. Oh my god. <laughs> Good morning. It's 10 a.m. and I fell asleep at like 5.30. So I got like four and a half hours of sleep but I'm forcing myself to get up no matter how tired I am because I need to fix my fucking sleep schedule so bad. Wait, the vibe that these red curtains give off kind of slays. Like this lighting is so like moody. <laughs> I just woke up, like, let me shut up. <laughs> also, I started filming with my iPhone again because I literally love the camera so much and also I got the new iPhone 15 Pro Max so my camera's better. So many of y'all asked me like what vlogging camera I use and I, sh I told everyone, but I don't like using it anymore. Like it's so, it doesn't have stability so it's like really shaky if I use like a wide angle lens on it. Otherwise it's like super zoomed in and like the footage is really dull so I have to color correct it and it's like really annoying. So I'm back on my iPhone and even the mic is better on this phone. So just get a fucking iPhone Like it's literally so much better so much more convenient. I don't even like want to use my camera anymore. I don't like it. Yeah Whoa Today is such a nicer day. Good morning, Eiffel Tower. It looks so much further away on camera, but I swear it's like way closer than that. Y'all, I can't even begin to explain what happened last night. I went to the convenience store, like the 24 hour supermarket around the corner just to get snacks because I was up so late, so I got hungry. As soon as I walked out of the door, the front door downstairs that requires a key fob, I got locked out because I left the fucking key upstairs. So I freaked out. I texted my Airbnb host like, oh my God, it's midnight. Is there anything I can do to get back in the building? She literally just said at this hour, there's not much that can be done at the moment, pretty much. So I was just like standing there like, <laughs> Like, what do you mean? Like, how do I get back into the fucking apartment? Like, I have to be here. I was literally already thinking about like, okay, now I have to find like a hotel. I have nothing except my phone and my wallet. And I was just prepared for the worst. Literally after waiting outside of the apartment for like 15 minutes, trying to like figure out what I was about to do, this man came out of some random room in the main floor. And so I started banging on the door being like, please, like super play, like please let me in and he let me in and he was so pissed i was trying to like explain to him that i was like living here and he was just like like just go like go upstairs and i was like man you literally saved my life like i don't know who you are but i'm assuming an angel anyway now i need to put these away i literally just got cookies and, and candy i actually do have a lot that i need to do today first of all round of applause for me for waking up like i didn't sleep and for hours i'm so happy i need to film for tiktok really badly i have not been on my tiktok shit lately like i really need to start posting again i want to go to a cafe and get coffee and food and film that for youtube and I also want to take you guys with me to go look for a jacket because last night I did hella research. Research meaning TikTok research of the places to go in Paris to find stuff like that. And there's so many thrift stores that I want to go to now, but I'm kind of on a time crunch. I'm a little bit stressed out. And then I also need to film my podcast, which if you don't listen to, the link is in the description, go listen to it. I'm getting a little bit stressed about that. 
The sun is like beaming right on to the apartment. Like I get so much light in here. Hey Eiffel Tower. I'm literally still in shock that like I'm just waking up to this. It's weird because all of the laundry that I have here, I can just like use for myself. Like there's so many different duvet covers I can like choose from. And since I'm gonna be here for so long, it's like I can make those decisions, almost kind of decorate even though I don't like live here full time. But I'm sitting here like this red duvet cover is kind of, kind of calling my name. <laughs> this stuff has taken so long to dry. If y'all have ever seen the movie Amelie, this is literally the corner store that she goes to in the movie and it's like literally right next to my apartment. I think that's so coincidental because I didn't even know that and I just watched the movie Amelie for the first time. That's so weird, but look how cool. Amelie corner store. Very famous movie, I love it. Blackbird coffee. I'm going to this random coffee place that I found because I'm so hungry, I need something like literally right now. Okay. <laughs> I did it. I didn't know if I would remember how to do that when the last time was in Paris, and I certainly did not. I'm so confused, but we're going out. trench coat kind of heat or does it like i feel like i look kind of huge but at the same time i'm like wait it's kind of cute i like the color no i don't think i'm gonna get it look at how many jackets there are here i am a bit overwhelmed me in paris yes i do live here temporarily but i can say i live here as of right now period you guys i'm so excited because i came to ghani and i wanted this jacket but it said it was out of stock online here but i just showed up and i found it <laughs> Girl, shut up. I'm scared that I'm gonna love this like a lot. I'm not even looking in the mirror because it's so expensive. But I want it so bad because I saw it online and I was like, bitch, I want it. Don't look, don't look. Why did I come here? I literally love this jacket so much. Look at how cute this is. Wait, is the lighting like good enough? Can you tell? I think I would get tax free. Me trying to make excuses because I'm here. I think I would get tax free because I'm in France and I have my passport. But I love this jacket so much. If I buy it, it would be the most expensive piece of clothing I think that I've ever bought. I think it's worth it because it's like a coat. Let's check the price again. Exchange rate does not always work in our favor. Whereas in Japan, in Japan, the exchange rate is so good. So like everything is cheaper, but not in France. Oh my God, it's cheaper than I remember. Okay, it's 345 euros, which I think makes it like 370 US dollars or something. Wait, I'm gonna look it up, but I want this jacket so bad. I literally told myself that I wasn't gonna buy this jacket, but as soon as I saw it and put it on, I was like, wait, I actually am going to buy this jacket. Oh, I'm so mad at myself. Like I literally have been shopping like way too much and I need to chill, but it's okay because this is a winter jacket. I'm just making excuses for me buying clothes. Yeah. She's getting bought. I'm doing it. The jacket has been acquired. The employee was not making a very good case for herself. She was like, oh, you're gonna need to wear like knitwear underneath. Like it's not that warm. And I was like, Oh, awesome. For like $370, it's not that warm, okay. But I'm so happy I found something because if I didn't find anything, I would have just had to pretend that I did not go shopping. Completely cut it out of the video. But I found something. I need to get something to eat. I want like lunch. stairs again oh my god wonderful let's go i left the laundry going while i was gone i don't know if it actually washed it or not because i don't know how to work this fucking washing machine but it smells clean so we're just gonna go with it one thing i miss about everywhere else is having a fucking dryer like i used to not have a dryer in japan and it was literally the worst thing ever and then i finally bought one to cure that problem and now i'm in france where i don't have a dryer again and you have to hang dry your clothes and then they're fucking crunchy and i don't want who wants crunchy clothes Clothes. Nobody wants crunchy clothes in this day and age. Like, we literally do not live in Victorian times. Although this apartment is probably like 300 years old. Yeah, I'm gonna go hang my clothes now. So 
I just realized that I didn't create an outro for this video, but I hope you enjoy. This is my new life on Paris. Look how much of a cute vibe my background is. Like, I don't even have to fucking try just because I'm in this apartment. Like, everything is fucking cute. Make sure you subscribe and like and do all that social media stuff that you know how to do. Also, follow my Instagram if you want to. And I'll see you in the next video. Mwah. Ew, my nails are so bad. Yeah, next video, I need to get my fucking nails done, okay?